back to the Buckeye State Wells. We're basically checking out Cincinnati area just for the weekend. And it's Memorial Weekend, so traffic will be bad since everybody's going south or either going north. But since we were going south, we didn't really get too much traffic along the way to Hamilton. Let's start here. This is M351 heading southbound towards Cincinnati, Ohio. It's taking the Cincinnati Terminal this time. But anyway, our first train that we did end up seeing was M277 for Louisville, Kentucky. And we ended up going to New Miami, Ohio, just to see what's going on at New River Yard. And we end up seeing a yard switcher that's doing some switching <laughs> New River Yard. I would find out on the radio that we have M510 heading northbound towards Detroit, Michigan from Cincinnati, Ohio with a Y2 leader. So that was pretty cool to see. So we decided to just wait it out here at the north end of the yard. Needed to be back in Hamilton, Ohio to be seeing an N560 heading northbound through Butler Street in Hamilton. It had quite a bit of coal cars in the front and then the west is just manifest. They're gonna have 
a quite a long train today. And I can tell you that for sure. Usually they'll have two engines up front and nothing else. Today they only had five locomotives on 560. Basically once we get back from New Miami, Ohio to get from there to Hamilton. Now we're thinking about going to Seven Mile, Ohio on the NS Newcastle District. And basically why we're going over there because we were given some word about a NS-263 and it's southbound on the Newcastle district from the Facebook group coming from Chicago to Cincinnati, Ohio. So we decided to make it over there but once we get out of town in Hamilton we saw the train of 263. So we figured we just may as well just go to seven miles, see what we can see. We end up getting a clear signal for northbound. It would be for 26C coming from I don't know where it comes out of, but I know that it goes to Chicago. For sure. Basically we waited for 26C to come north. We end up here in the defect detector, clearing it at New River Junction. So I would say from New River Junction to 7 Mile, it would only took basically 10 to 5 minutes. He took 10 minutes today, but they'll get back up to speed. They can go pretty fast. Some well fan on the Newcastle saw them going 60 on the Newcastle. But they're putting up the notch for 26C. So basically what I was trying to say is 26D is basically putting up the notch. He is going faster through 7 mile instead of Hamilton. They can only go like 25 or 30 through Hamilton. But for 7 mile on the Newcastle, they can go up to 60 or 55 miles per hour. Of course, as soon as I get back to Hamilton, this is shown. 142, northbound from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Elkhart, Indiana. 
had an AC6000 refill, 12 in second. So that was pretty cool. This one ended up being our last train in Hamilton and being the day. We decided just to go to our hotel and chill for the rest of the day. Besides, we had some very exciting plans. That will be at like, starts at 7, that will end at like 9.30. So, we didn't really go out after that, so we'll go out for the next day. The next day shows up here in Glendale, Ohio. While we have X361 heading southbound to Cincinnati, Ohio. This is an extra as 361. I guess the 361 from the day before never went. So they just made it as an extra for Cincinnati. So it would basically have a Jeevo, tier 4 one, leading away with a Lion 2, 148, 12 in second. Lion 2's are coming into a rarity since the all the AC 4400s are now going into rebuild. It's a sad, but whatever. It's the railroad, I don't own them. Anyway. What we're focusing on today is basically Glendale area, Sharonville area, whatever. We will be well fitting a little bit on the Cincinnati Terminal and then looking on the Dayton District. And yeah, that's basically going to be it for today. We have a lot more time than yesterday. We only had four hours. 8.30 and we had till 2 we had quite a bit of time to spare till our well fitting session is over for the weekend and we would go out to lunch out like Cracker Bell so yeah let's check out this 361 So this one is an I-142, but if you can see, it does not have the line 2-8 that I was hoping for. So a few days before I went on this trip down to Cincinnati on Memorial Weekend, a couple dash 8s got out of storage, and apparently one of them was on 142. It was never on it, but besides GE, GMOs. However, it does have do not hum bot cars. They have like lasers to like expect the tracks. I've seen one of these bot cars on an intermodal before. It was on National Train Day 2023, and that video has already been posted. If you guys want to check that out, I'll probably put a link in the blog. But yeah, anyway, it made it to Manchester, Georgia, and then was an I-142. When I got to Manchester, Georgia, it decided, well, the train master decided to put it as an extra, X, 
142 for North Baltimore, Ohio. Which I kind of thought that was kind of weird, but it's whatever, I guess. At least we're seeing an Intermodal on CSX. That's fine. This one was quite a long. Well, coming from Cincinnati, they worked Cincy for two hours, and we were gonna get 142 yesterday, the day before, but we, just, we didn't have much time yesterday just to do any well fitting. And besides, it's today we just have a lot more freedom of doing well fitting. After we would get extra 142 at Glendale, we decided just to drive around on the Day District and find what we could find. Eventually, we would see 375 from Middletown, Ohio to Lockport, Indiana. It originates out of Middletown to go to Lockport, Indiana. So we would end up getting 558 for our northbound at Glendale, Ohio. Eventually, good stuff ended up coming out of our way on 558. Anyway, if you can see the DC Jibo leading, that will all change in a minute. Especially, I haven't seen one of these bad boys in a long time. They're been going into storage at the deadline in Lordstown, but it was definitely worth it. The day before, I was given word about a heads up about 558 had some four of them, and today's 558 only has two. Yep, you get that light. A couple switches from CSX. Now, however, they used to use these switches a lot in yard jobs and stuff. Like, switching around, like, biggest yards, like, Queenscape, Bar Yard, Wall Bridge, stuff like that. Now they don't. They use SD40s as remote locomotives. Especially, there's been a lot of these heading northbound on the Toledo on 558. 558 is basically out of Cincinnati to Willard, Ohio, but recently it was recently abolished since we got a new train that comes out of Lima to Cincinnati. That is L423, L424 heading northbound and southbound out of Lima and Cincinnati. Which that says that we would basically have 558, 559 a ball is now, so it's so it's basically whatever. So if it, one of those switchers comes back, I bet you surely it'll be at 560 which means it could drop in the way. Now, if I was in that situation, if 558 would have them again, and if it comes back on the railroad and it once again, I would say it terminates in weather. And that was pretty cool to see some switchers on 558, even though the day before we saw Four of them on 558 heading northbound on the Toledo by Troy. We found that out from Facebook.
we would end up getting another restricting after that 558 going by we would end up having NS 122 122 is basically out of Cincinnati to Decatur, Illinois which means he's not gonna have anything special on him it's just basically Jeevos and C6Ms that's what it basically all is
that is why this is basically our last train here at Glendale, Ohio. And basically the last one for the weekend of our trip in Cincinnati, Ohio area in Glendale, too. This is M511 from basically Detroit, Michigan all the way down to Cincinnati, Ohio. Recently it was changed. I think it wasn't changed down to Louisville, but I think it's now still as Sensi, but 510 is now out of Louisville to Detroit, Michigan. What was a very surprise is after we got that 122 or 142, whatever that northbound NS was, we were surprisingly saw a southbound 511 coming south to Gundale. Usually all the southbounds usually take the NS Newcastle District and take the NS connection at Calmonton. But I guess they didn't and they just went completely south. Like 351 did the other day. Like yesterday. For example. But this video will end off here at Glendale, Ohio. And there's some 80 footers pop cars. I haven't seen those in a long time. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.